Uh, we're trying to get back to the railway now, guys. <laughs> Just where that line of trees are. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. I don't think this is very good idea. <laughs> Welcome back everybody. Oh, what day? Uh, it's Monday today. Uh, Monday. Uh, we last saw you Wednesday, was it? Yeah, Wednesday. So almost a week. We've been Josh has spot. got itchy feet, so... Yeah, we're going to stay here. <coughs> well, it's not just that. We need water as well, don't we? We need water, Mark. Yeah, why are you the thing? I can't even see. Yeah, you're just sh uh, shaded by me. Oh, right. It's the sun. Yeah, we need water, really, so... Yeah. Uh, We've been in this spot for almost a week now and getting a bit bored of it now. <laughs> it's a lovely spot though. Nice to see somewhere new. Uh, so me and yeah. Mum have been doing some walks, haven't we? Yeah, we're doing a couple yeah. of walks. We didn't do one yesterday. We've done one three days before that. Yeah, we're going to move off. It's only going to be a mile cruise today. We're going to go to Bridge 50, which is down there, turn around, come back, and then more at Bettersfield. Get some water at Bettersfield, get rid yeah. of the rubbish. More there for uh, until Friday. Turning around. Yeah. Oh. Guess, go back guess to the what? Please branch down. Oh yeah. Guess what? It's windy again. Yeah. And cold. <laughs> it looks going to be deceiving because <laughs> it's a very nice sunny day. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. If you look out the window, it's not until you come out here. <laughs> you realise how freezing. cold it is. Yeah. Put the heating on this morning. I was lovely toasty. The trouble is, when I put the heating on about seven o'clock, I can't get back to sleep at all because it's very loud. Yeah. <laughs> you won't but, see any trouble. We had to get a new tyre today, so we're Two. set off late. Two. Two new tyres. The other one was worn yeah. as well. Yeah. Cars again! Had a again. puncture already, just like the Mazda. Cars again! And you know, the only car we had the electric pump in was the car that didn't uh, lose any of its tyres. And it got stolen when the car was stolen, so... But we've got two new... Yeah, since we've had that car, we've got a new battery and two new tyres so far. Yeah, it's going good. <laughs> But what's 700 squids, so it's all but right. you know, we got it cheap anyway, so yeah, yeah. it's good. Oh, we did man we managed to get money back from the insurance, but the access was no, so yeah, high. Finally, after about six weeks, yeah, that, after six weeks, we got what we paid for the car 1450, but it was over 500 pounds access for Josh's because yeah. it was in his name, so we only got about 900. But at the end of the day, it, it could have been worse. Avocado, you know, it covered the cost of the car and it covered the tax, so that's all that matters mm. really. And we got a decent car there. Yeah. It's alright, Andy likes it, don't you, And yeah. we, we like it actually, but, you know, <coughs> so we'll be keeping it for a while, I think. Yeah, um, yeah this vlog's going to be the same, same vlog as on Friday, because it's going to be very short today, so I'll uh, make it into one vlog and it'll be our last vlog before we go away. Then we'll be back 4th of Feb. Yeah, and you have Amy with us on Friday. Amy's coming on holiday with us. A, a fourth crew member. Yeah, she's Where going on. She's coming up on a coach on a Thursday from well, Barnstable. She has to get the coach from all the way to Birmingham. So we've got to drive yeah. over an hour to go and get her. But it's easier than driving like four and a half hours down to Ilfracombe getting her and then coming back. So which we'll probably have to do anyway when she misses the coach. Oh, yeah. she better not miss the coach. Is oh. anything like that? Yeah. Uh, let's go then. Shall we? Enjoy. So I'm just untied the front, and the wind has just blown the front of Olive out straight away. And Mum and Dad haven't even taken the back off yet. Well, it's already started in disaster. I've let the front off, and they didn't do the back in time. Pull it in, Anne. Take it off. Hi, Anne. <laughs> Still got the nappy pin on.
I've always got to film the car now, just in case it could be the last time I see it. We almost crashed into this boat here because we couldn't turn Olive. The only two things that really cause that is shallowness and something caught around the prop. And we don't know which one it was. And see, it's happening again here. This is one of our favourite spots on the Langolin Canal. Just such a beautiful spot with the little pond there. There's so much wildlife. We're going to turn around here, but it usually takes about 10 minutes to wind a 70 foot boat. And it can be very, very tight. And usually when we start winding, a boat comes along. And that's just what happened. Oh, hopefully, Mum. Yeah, I think he's mooring up down there. God for that. <laughs> don't really get a lot of wiggle room. Yay, the car's still there. And now we're back into Wales, you know what I mean? Snow on the very tip of that hill. I really like the design of these alpine houses. I've heard in all new builds look like this. We're back at Bettersford now and here's the water point. We're gonna get some water here, get rid of the rubbish. We'll be on our way again.
Well, we're moored up just outside Bettersfield. Um, filled up in water, didn't we? Yeah, filled up water, got rid of all the rubbish. Yep. Um, this is a beautiful small spot. Yeah, I've always wanted to moor here. It's absolutely oh, stunning. You don't usually get in in there when it's busy. Yeah, this well, no, mainly because there's no parking directly yeah. here. It's about a quarter of a mile to Bettersfield, not even that. But, um, yeah, we're not going to get the car until Wednesday. Thursday, I don't know. We've got to go and pick Amy up at Oh, yeah, we'll we do it Thursday, Thursday then. We'll do it Thursday and then um, we'll go back and get the car then. Yeah, we've got to pick her up at 3 o'clock at mm. Birmingham Coach Station. So. But, um, yeah, it's a lovely spot. It's really good solar. Don't know about the internet yet. Probably not as good as last time. <laughs> um, we are going to go for a walk now. A little four and a half mile walk. Little. Little? Yeah. Didn't but it's that far. It's not very far. <clears throat> um, because we're trying to do a bit of exercise every day. It's about two o'clock now, so should get back about sunset. Hopefully. Yeah. Well, it won't <coughs> fart around too much. So yeah, today just moored up. Um, it's about two o'clock. Got two hours of light. But it's a glorious winter January oh, day today. Beautiful. And we're going on a four-mile walk. And uh, day. along, we're going to go back Shropshire along the canal. Way, it's called. Yeah, a little circular walk today. Yeah. Come back along the canal, we are. <laughs> we'll just cross the canal and we're going to go walking back on the canal. We like to do our circular walks. So, yeah, we're going to take you on this one today and see what we see. Well, um... We've been on quite a few, but we haven't recorded them. Oh. Yeah, look at this. Wow. Beautiful. There's one person over there, but <laughs> so we're walking this this one. There's two here. One goes That's over the there to the road. There, yeah, we're walking down there. We're walking towards um, the Prees branch of the Langollen, and um, <clears throat> gonna walk through the woods. And yeah, we're near Wixall Moss, so I think in the future. Maybe the next video we might have a little walk oh, around the Flicks Oh, we did walk the mosses, didn't we? Yeah, we walked them and it was lovely, so I want to show you guys them. Because um, I was quite upset that I didn't even record it. I saw a nice station and everything. So I think we'll do that walk again and show you. Yeah, because it's so diverse. Yeah. Especially if we've done it when it's sunny, Josh. Yeah, you don't lovely. always get days like this, though. No. So I thought I'd record today. I was just saying how nice that other field was. <laughs> and now we're in this one, it's all horrible. A lot of rain recently. So it's nice to see a blue sky day. Is it going to hold my weight? Oh yeah, surprisingly strong. That's a little stream that goes underneath the canal. country lane. Um, I think we're on the border of England and Wales at the moment. <laughs> I think, yeah, we're going to cross. I think, I think Olive is in Wales, aren't yeah. she? I think we're still in Wales at the moment, but in a minute we're going to go back in England and then we're going to go back into Wales again. <laughs> in and out of Wales and England. We're near Bettersfield, which is right on the border of Wales and then England. Um, yeah, it's a bit of an England and Wales walk today. <laughs> Two countries in one video. Yeah, nice little, looks like a private fishing lake here. Beware of the dogs. Oh, Josh, you know what this looks like? It looks like they put little boats on it. Yeah, I don't know what that white thing is over there. It looks like an old boat, doesn't it? Well, I was about to walk up that one, but that one's private. It's got a sign there, Josh, up your way. 
this this, way? No, it's this one. Yeah, this way. Dodge the puddles along this road. <laughs> Looks like they're going up right to the house. Well, there's more this side, and a couple of pheasants in the field there, <laughs> running around, and a magpie. Looks like they do jump in here, doesn't it? Joshua yeah. jumps. Got all their jumps set up. If I did that, I'd break my back. Oh, I used to do it when I was little. God, did you? Yeah, I learned, you were, to, learned to ride a horse when I was little. I used to have lessons when I was a little. Somewhere there. in the New Forest, I think it was. I used to take this, come and dad. Oh dear, here comes a little tall chihuahua now. <laughs> oh, he's come out. Hello. I don't know if you're meant to come out, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one can't quite get out. <laughs> <clears throat> We've got a big boy here. You're a big one, aren't you? That's a lovely job, isn't he? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you got any chops? Oh, wow. I think you try and get in there, Josh, would you? <laughs> no. Got a bit of a mixture. We had a little chihuahua, a virana. Oh, no. Looks like we're down a little country lane now, a green lane, as it's known. Lovely. Birds chirping. Dogs barking. Sun shining, dogs barking. He's still barking in your <laughs> See, this is why we record these, because it may not seem like it just during a little walk, but there's sometimes weird stuff and eventual yeah. things do happen. <laughs> and quite interesting things we see like along the way. Like a house that's got horses, dogs, <laughs> cats. Yeah, everything under the sun. <laughs> it's a little zoo. Got, got some lovely Scotch pines over there. Silver birch is here. Hmm? That's old mistletoe. Or? Yeah, it looks like mistletoe. But where's the wine? Yeah, shame we didn't have an off-roader, man. We could have come down here, took in all these. Yeah. I just want to show this. Over this little brook here is England. <laughs> And we're still in Wales here. We're just gonna, looks like we're walking along the border, then we're gonna cross into England in a minute. Um, listen to that. Nothing. Absolutely nothing out here. Peaceful. No roads, no trains, no aeroplanes. I didn't hear a bird actually. Yeah. That dog stopped barking. Explore the Bettersfield Moss Trail. World's End. We're right here. Yeah, but the, the mosses are such a unique environment. A to B, B to C. Yeah, see, it's this way we've got to go. <laughs> Lucky I checked, because we would have kept going that way. <coughs> oh, and we're in England now, guys, okay? We just crossed the border into England now. <laughs> So before 2001, the moss was actually covered by a self-sown pine forest, smoothing out all of the rare raised bog plants and animals. Natural England and natural resources, Wales, have cleared the forest and restored this international important raised bog. So these signs are the what birds you that you can see on, on the moss. You missed the short-eared short owl. Yeah. In the last ice age, about 10,000 years ago, there was a Mount Water Lake formed here and over thousands of years of succession of floating plants then swamp fen and finally rainwater a raised bog developed bog moss acidified the groundwater and rainwater preventing vegetation decay and building up a dome of peat so pretty much there used to be a massive iceberg here the iceberg melted turned it into a lake and then so much vegetation grew that it turned it into a swamp why save the moss? Over 95% of Britain's raised bogs have been destroyed. So mending this moss has rescued lots of threatened boggy diversity.
very quiet out here, really. Yeah. That's what I'm on about. Weird things. Spawn? Some sort of spawn? Gross pile of wood. Another one there. <laughs> it could be. Like Jellington. Oh, it looks like, like yeah, it looks frog like, spawn or something. Some kind of egg, I don't know. <laughs> pretty weird. Dad, we need Dad with us, Josh. Pretty weird. <laughs> can't see it but the canal is literally just there in between those these two sets of trees so the mosses were actually almost destroyed by commercial peat cutting which first took place when the canal came through here and this is why the canal came through Wigsaw moss so they could cut the peat and sell it What's this site notice due to a recent vehicle trespass on the reserve the trails have been damaged and are very boggy in places please take extra care that's what it said on the other side, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, on the other side, an yeah. off-road off vehicle's been on it and ruined the... Yeah. That's annoying. Look at the silver birch's bra uh, bark, look at that. It's rugged, isn't it? Not much silver left on it. <laughs> yeah. Field's completely flooded. I thought they made a dam here to stop the water overflowing. <laughs> right, and there's the Prees branch of the Langolling Canal. Oh my god. Oh, look, it's quite solid. <coughs> yeah. Freeze branch onto the back onto the canal in a minute and uh, probably cost the swing bridge here. So we're gonna leave the boat. Leave the boat while we go on holiday to Portugal. I wonder what did that damage? I wonder what did that damage, look. That's why they got these bricks to replace that damage there. Well, the batteries died on the GoPro, guys. <laughs> Even though it was on a 60%, they're, they're terrible. But on the Prees branch now, and uh, this is where we're gonna park the car. And we're gonna probably more just down there, or there, but probably down here. That's a good idea, look, Peter Nepogin's in there. I've never seen that. Got little logs to stop him scraping. <laughs> Castro, guys. Look at the junction. Beautiful. To the old toll house. For the, uh, the junction here. That was cool. <coughs> well, oh. it snowed, guys. Yeah, not a lot, but it snowed. Yeah, a bit of snow. <laughs> so I thought we'd take you on another walk today <coughs> um, along the old disused railway and show you the old, the old uh, works there and uh, take you on the moss again. I know. The wag <clears throat> to you guys, snow might not be that significant, but to us, especially to me, I used to live in Devon. You don't get it very often down there. <clears throat> oh, look how hard that is. It's like ice. It's more yeah. The thing not is, ice it and snow. It doesn't feel that cold, though. Does it? Does it feel that cold to you? No, I think it's that northerly wind, but yeah. there's no wind here. And no wind at the moment, which is...
yesterday we got a couple of donations on our video, didn't we, Mark? Yes, we did. Thank you <coughs> very much. Uh, Nancy Springston again. Yeah, thank you, Nancy. Uh, we appreciate that. Five coffees. That. And also someone else, anonymous, free coffees. Yes, so thank you. You know who you are, the anonymous person. So thank very you very kind much. Of you. Put a bit of diesel in yeah, olive. Buy some coal. Yeah, get some coal. Lovely, thank you. We yeah. really appreciate it. Alright. We walked this last night and there's no snow whatsoever. Because <laughs> we parked the car by the church up there. Yeah, it's a little bit of a walk. Yeah. Got to climb over this now. Not very good, is it? Oh, I thought it was a. What the hell? Where's the, the style to it then? I know, it's funny because you've got a gate and a style that side, but you haven't even got a gate or a style. People have ripped the fence to let their dogs through as well. Well, we're on the old railway now. <laughs> um, pretty sure, I don't know what railway this used to be, but I will find out for you guys in voiceover. Oh, been down here. Well, it's yeah, it's been turned into a little country lane now. But <coughs> going to pick Amy up from Birmingham tomorrow, aren't we? On the coach. Yeah. Taking a the coach there. Just got to get the um, so get the bus from Ilford come at twenty past seven to get into Barnstable, which is only like half an hour by car. But it's because it's like takes a school hour. time. It takes hour ages. And then get the coach at Barnstable, then go to Bristol, stop off there. <coughs> For an hour and then get to um, Birmingham. Yeah. Not too bad though. I think it's quarter to nine the coach leaves and it gets in at three and there's an hour break at Bristol, so they're not too bad. We've looked at trains, but trains take a bit longer as well. Uh, they take hours there's more changes. But if if we did take a train, but well, Amy could have come up this railway if it wasn't abandoned. Yeah. She could have stopped off at the Bettersfield <laughs> station. <laughs> But it's only like on the coach, National Express, £28. Yeah, very so cheap, though. The, the thing is, by the time we drove for four and a half hours to where she is, and then picked her up, bought a bag, it cost a fortune in mm. petrol or diesel. So, yeah, it's quite a cheap way of doing it. So, yeah, we'll take you, take you down to Birmingham again tomorrow. <laughs> no, I don't mean Birmingham's <laughs> disgusting, okay? No. I mean the M6s, okay? Yeah, the M6. <laughs> Someone had a girt me last time for that. <laughs> no, the M6 we've got to go on to, I think, haven't we, Josh? Yeah. But it does bring back bad memories in uh, Birmingham. <laughs> Getting my car stolen down there. But uh, any other trains would have been about, like, oh, buses would have been about two more hours for me, and that's too much. Oh, God, they've been a lot longer. Yeah. The toilet roll is covered in snow. <laughs> well, we're the first one's down here. Eh? Making the tracks now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a snow cloud. Yeah. And now we're entering the moss again. Christmas trees down there. Gone all the way around it 
I mean, walked here before and I took loads of video. Yeah. So I'll show that here. Wow. This is the old factory where they used to sort all the cuttings of the peat from the moss. And this isn't the original building. The original building burnt down in 1938. And this one replaced it. And they transported the goods along the railway. So this is the old Oswald Street, Arrowsmere and Whitchurch Railway. Quite a long name. It opened as a single line in 1863 and closed in 1965. <laughs> Look at that for a mosque, or the view of the mosque, guys. Wow. Beautiful. Whew. <laughs> God. That's about two miles along the straightest railway yeah, in the world. Yeah, it's so straight. Yeah. Can you show them how straight it is? Yeah, I don't think you can really see, but... <laughs> you can, can't really see, but it's yeah. just a straight... And it's further on. Yeah. You go straight further as well. Most we're cutting of the railway to, track is abandoned. And you're going to cut onto the moss now, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, we're going on the moss now, change of scenery, but I don't think anyone's been on it. Just... <laughs> Gotta watch our footing. Oh, someone's been here. <laughs> Wouldn't want to fall in there today. <laughs> Look at the way the wind's blown that ice or oh, snow, I mean. Made it look like sand. This way, this yeah. Way. Well, it isn't proper snow. It doesn't even compare to it. Well. Ah! <laughs> I knew he was going to walk in. No. There's a big like water area there. But there's all water. You can see. <clears throat> but look what's behind us, guys. It's quite worrying, isn't it? <laughs> we got caught in the blizz. Right down here now. Ah. Oh. So what it really does make you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, if you want to go on the... <laughs> Around here. <laughs> oh, nice. Did you see any more? Yeah. Are you? No. Oh. Yeah, this is mud here. Go you can't here. tell. <laughs> you can't tell where the mud is. Oh, down here you can. This is a bit of a... Document. There's nowhere really to go around, <laughs> so I think it's best to go straight through the middle. Uh, is it safe for me? Yeah, if I came across, you can. Yeah, uh, got a huge flooded section here. I think the only way around is Let's try and go around over here. I don't think this is going to be as easy as walking the railway. <laughs> Didn't really expect to be this bad. To be honest with you, I thought, it, I thought it'd be a Broadway walk. Well, what do you call it? I don't know. But I'll end up in there. <clears throat> You've got water inside. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to have to walk through that. Oh no. This is going to be. Quite exhausting this walk. <laughs> I might try and find if there's a way, way back onto the railway. Uh, we're trying to get back to the railway now, guys. <laughs> Just where that line of trees are. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't think this was a very good idea. <laughs> we'll walk the plank again. This has made this video quite interesting. Trapped on the mosses. Mm. Lucky we didn't do this in an evening. Another dead end, guys. We're just walking on the little barriers between the drains. Look, here's another way around here. And that looks fairly stable there. Well. We're following the flags at the moment around this little tiny bank, but I got a wet foot. My foot went like two feet deep in some uh, in a 
a bit of bog, but you can't see where they are because of the snow. It's a trouble. But luckily these little banks are quite stable. Oh, that cloud is coming closer and closer. <laughs> I'm not far from the railway now. We did it! I thought we were going to die then. Oh god! Five made High it. Five! Survived. Oh, I think I just my idea to follow the flags and it worked. Yeah. <laughs> So we've made it back to the railway now. <laughs> I think that's the last time we're going to go on Wixall Moss. <laughs> oh, got a wet foot, but I'm alive. <sighs> yeah. Went from blue sunny skies and no wind <laughs> to grey skies of wind. Very cold, bitter wind now, and I think I feel drips on my face. Oh. And I don't think it's snow, I think it's oh, rain. Oh god. Yeah, it's rain. You better bring your dad to get the jackery in. <laughs> yeah. What do you know, we've been caught in a rain cloud. I thought it was going to be snowing, but yeah. it's rain. <laughs> Typically it's rain. <laughs> I'm going to get back as fast as we can. Yeah. Now. <laughs> 